Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so the day is here. Our 10 hidden features for the Galaxy S10, including how to do this fun stuff. So let's get to it. Now, if you're not familiar with our hidden features, this is the first of three videos, so make sure to subscribe to find out all of them. But we're gonna go over 10 hidden features of the smartphone of the S10, S10e, or S10 Plus. They all work the same. And you're gonna get to find out all really cool features that make you fall in love with this phone even more. Now, I will say this as always is tradition. If you know the 10 hidden features, let me know in the comment section and I will give you a like thumbs up. But if you don't know, then I get a like thumbs up. Let's get started and see who knows more. So for the first hidden feature, it is definitely a favorite on this channel and a really important one though if you're new to Samsung. First of all, you have to have a Samsung account in order to do this, but you can actually send 4K videos or hundreds of photos via text message or email without losing any quality whatsoever. So in order to do link sharing, first you're gonna need a Samsung account, which you can do by going into settings and then accounts and add a Samsung account. Once you have that, you can see I took a couple of 4K videos on a day. So if I wanted to send this to myself without losing any quality, I just hit share. And because I have link sharing, I can then send this 800 megabits of four videos and share it and either copy it and send it via whichever means or you obviously can share it via all of your apps. So I can send this over email, over text message, over whatever I want and share this with anyone. I can even post it on Twitter. So this is a really great way and what it does is it uploads all of your videos and you have then a link for cloud storage for 24 hours. So it's like Snapchat in a way where it goes away after 24 hours, but within that 24 hours, anyone can open that, up that link and download the photos or videos in full quality, no downgraded whatsoever. It's definitely the most important hidden feature you need to know about when owning a Samsung smartphone. So most people know the fact that with Samsung smartphones, you can mirror from your phone to a lot of different smart TV, streaming devices, all of these different things, you can actually mirror it to these devices, which is really cool. But what most people don't know is that you can do the opposite if you have a Samsung TV. So with this, I am able to actually mirror whatever's on my TV to my smartphone. This is a really cool feature. And one of the reasons why I always love getting Samsung TVs over any other TV, and if you have this whole ecosystem, it's a really great way to just mirror your TV onto your phone. Now, I have heard that Samsung has thought about opening this up to other TV manufacturers. So maybe if you have a brand new LG or something along those lines, you might be able to mirror it as well. But it's just a really cool thing to be able to mirror your TV onto your phone. And you can even change the source, power, and all of these different features on it. So it's really great just to be able to watch your TV on your phone. Use it a lot for when I go into another room in the kitchen or something like that and you still wanna see what's on here, you have the volume, everything on here. So it's a really great feature to have. So this one's a really cool feature. Basically with calls, you can actually, instead of having a stock photo, have an animated GIF. So this is a really cool way that when someone calls to add a little personality to each and everyone's call. How do we do this? Well, you just have to set up your contacts to have special GIF animations. Now, if you wanna get some stock ones, you can just do it through Giphy. Another way is to play a video of yourself, and then once you have that video playing, you can actually just have the ability to create a GIF right here. However, if you want to customize it, you can not only have the sta standard ones, but you can also have the one from Giphy. And the really cool thing about GIFs is on the editor, you can actually speed it up or slow it down. So if you want a really more dramatic one, you can actually slow it down and then it looks even cooler. So let's save this one, for instance. And now let's add it to my contacts. So from here, all I had to do was go into contacts and then go to edit and tap on my picture. Then I'm gonna to go to gallery, swipe all the way down, go to the folder that I want to use, maybe if I wanna use, and now anytime I call, you can kind of move it around too, of course, if you want. This is what's gonna come up. And so it's just a really cool way of being able to have it 
so that when someone calls, you have a little bit more personality in all of your contacts. So this is probably the best entertainment feature of the bunch, and that is dual audio Bluetooth. With this smartphone, you compare it to two different Bluetooth devices, regardless of brand, at the same time. So this is a really great and useful feature. You start it by just holding down the Bluetooth icon, going into Bluetooth, and then clicking Advanced. From here, you're going to turn on dual audio Bluetooth. Now this does turn off media volume sync, which I do really love. So make sure when you're not using dual audio Bluetooth, turn that back on just because that way you can have one source to control your volume. You don't have to put volume up here and here. But now that we have this set, we can watch a movie together and listen on two different pair of headphones simultaneously while doing it. So this is a really great feature just because it really allows you to pair to two different devices and if you have a smartwatch, you have three different devices in total, actually. So that's a really great way of being able just to connect to multiple devices very easily. And you get information from it. Now, I will let you know that if you do have Bluetooth 5.0 headphones, they have less latency between the two. So if you don't have Bluetooth 4.0 or older headphones, then you're gonna have one being quicker and one being slower if that would be the case. So just some tips on using this, but it's a really great feature to be able to play music, say through two different speakers. You can play one speaker in the kitchen and one speaker in the living room and have a nice house party or have two people watch a YouTube video or other things such as that on your phone. All right, so this one is a pain point for a lot of people. So I definitely wanted to create something very simple so that you can use this button to use the Google Assistant. Now, some people don't need it. Obviously, you can just always hold down the home button. Lots of other things you can do to it, which I personally have it set to a different thing. But if you want your Bixby button to launch Google Assistant, first thing you have to do is download Google Assistant. Now, I know you're thinking you have a system on this phone already, but you need to download the actual app in order to pull this off. So once you download the app, open it up, go through your startup process, set it up. Now that it's set up, you go into settings, then you go under advanced features and you go to Bixby key. From Bixby key, you do the double press to open the Bixby key and then single press to do something different, which you are gonna create a quick command from here. In your quick commands, you're gonna to go to quick commands to create your first one. And then you're gonna hit plus. And all you're gonna do is you can call it Google or whatever you want and you're going to, what does it Bigsby do? Open Google, oh, sorry, open the Assistant app. Set this up, save it, close it, make sure that it's set up for the Google Quick Command, restart your phone, and then once your phone is restarted, you will now activate the Google Assistant every time you press the Bigsby button. Simple, quick, and easy, and this is a step-by-step -step, because I know a lot of people were asking for it on the first things to do video. Now, this one has become a fan favorite and that is a 4K lock screen wallpaper. So this is really cool just because you can film a 4K video or download a 4K video and make it your lock screen. Now again, this video will come out with the review for you guys to be able to download it. I created this one, but YouTube has already told me that I can not leave a download link on the video itself. So I'm working on a way around it. But on the meantime, let me show you how you can create your own. Basically, you just film a 4K video of whatever you want, and then you just go to the video in gallery. Once you're in this specific section, you're gonna be able to hit these three dots, set as wallpaper, and then you have up to a 15 second clip of it, which you can edit, and there you go. Once you have that, you're all set, and that is your new lock screen wallpaper. Again, it's a really cool way of personalizing your phone and everyone always asks me about it anytime I show it. Now this hidden feature saves you a lot in battery life. And if you haven't checked out our video on how to save battery life, you definitely wanna check it out because it will add two to three hours longer battery life on your smartphone. But this is definitely the biggest one. In settings, you go to device care. Then from here, you go to battery. And then from here, you hit these three dots and you go to settings and you go to sleeping apps. 
These are apps you put to sleep, basically meaning that none of these apps are allowed to run in the background. I have over 130, let me know if you can beat me. So all you do is add any app you do not want to run in the background. Now, these are the apps that I do not have in there, so obviously these are apps that I want to run in the background, but just to give you an idea, if you are using shopping apps, sometimes you like to close it and go to another screen, that is a reason to keep it. Google Assistant, something that I always want to keep running. Uh, anything you would want to keep running or any games or anything like that you would want to keep in the background, these are ones you would want to. Other than that though, they can definitely go in here and you do not need them to run in the background. It's a really great way to save battery life because none of these apps will be using your battery, RAM, or cache in your smartphone. So this next hidden feature is actually a preview to a future video where we go over 10 apps that actually unlock abilities on the Galaxy smartphone. And it is starting off with good luck. So for good luck, you can get it from the Galaxy store and it actually gives you a useful recent apps button that is a lot better off and it's made by Samsung. So how do you get it? Well, for most countries, you can get it from the Galaxy store. Just search good luck and it's the first one that comes up and it looks like this. If it's not in your area, I will leave a third party link to download it. Try to not click ads on that third party link. Just be cautious. And once you have it, then you can use it. So you're going to then hit this little shopping bag for task changer, which will allow you to get the different, more innovative recent apps button. And from there, you can actually just hit the actual screen on task changer and there you can customize it. So I definitely like the grid and applying the blur, lots of different other ones you can play around with, but this definitely allows you to do things more easily. There's lots of other good ones for this, but again, for this purposes, this is a useful recent apps button that definitely is needed with this smartphone because Android Pie sucks at recent apps and this makes it a lot more usable. So this one will help you make some really cool looking photos with your gallery. And that is Advanced Photo Editor or Photo Editor Pro. Now this feature was kind of taken away, but it was just really more hidden. So when you go to your photos, uh, if you have a blur background, you can change blur background effects, but most of your edits actually come with this pen icon. And you have your basic ones, some really cool effects, such as even just auto, if you wanna just create more vibrancy, typically that's what this one does. And lots of different effects, lots of different things you can do here, write text, all that kind of stuff. Now, three things that I wanna point out though, is one is this advanced auto. So advanced auto basically crops, colorizes everything and makes it so this is what it thinks your best photo would look like. It's really cool when you have a lot of people and it does it on there. So it's just a couple of really cool features that you can do with that. Now the favorite part though for me is of course hitting these three dots and going to spot color and style. If you are an advanced user that knows what they're doing, you can go to advanced and really kind of mess with the color, the tone, everything in this photo. But I love color spot because it's just a really cool way of making everything black and white except for one color. And I just really love that ability. You can also take away certain ones and fine tune it. So it's really kind of cool on just what you can do. And if I wanna make only this blue in the front, the color and everything else not, then I can do that. And now just that one is blue and everything else that was blue is not gonna be that color. So really kind of fun stuff you can do with that. You can also go to style and create all these cool different effects and filters and really kind of draw it up more or less. So it's really kind of cool, just all these hidden ones that you might have not ever seen if you didn't know where to look for. So it's a definitely hidden feature that I think will greatly increase your love of photos. Always on hidden feature videos, we end with the camera hidden feature. So for this one, we are going to go into our camera and show you the absolute best way to shoot video qualities. These videos will look amazing and all of your friends will be jealous, I promise. So let's go into settings. And we went more in depth with this on our how to set up your camera video, but this is basically the best video quality. For your rear camera, shoot in 1080p at 60 frames per second. Now there is a 4K at 60 frames per second, but this does not have digital stabilization, only optical. This one has digital and optical, so it's much better 
for your overall video quality, but that is the main difference between the two. Once you have this video quality set up, you are just going to notice a huge upgrade in your overall video quality. Now, steady shot will take that away, so do not use that if you just wanna shoot in the absolute best video quality. And if you do, then your videos really just stand out so much. And you really notice it on any kind of movement video, but man, it just looks lifelike every time. So when my little girl was on the Ferris wheel, she was having so much fun and I got to capture it in this amazing video quality. So definitely something I recommend and something that I think a lot of people will love, just how your videos turn out. All right guys, those were all of our 10 hidden features for this video. Make sure to subscribe to follow the next two videos for the rest of the hidden features, as well as the review where I finally get you guys this lock screen wallpaper. Thank you as always so much for watching. Make sure to give a like, thumbs up if I deserved it. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.